Hey everyone, Bad Ducks here, and we're gonna play some Long Live the Queen. Uh, this game is available on Steam. It's by Hanako Games, and you can get it for the low price of $9.99 US. It's, um, if you've ever played uh, Princess Maker, it's kind of like that. Um, and it's probably classified as a visual novel since there's a story element to it. But I like it because it's got some something for you to do. <laughs> not it's not necessarily choices as that's typical of a visual novel, but um, you get to skill up your princess. So here we got Jocelyn King Dowager Dowager. Duke of Calaris. I'm gonna mispronounce the crap out of all these names, so apologies. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, just I'm just letting you know. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need to go through that. It's basically, oh, you're home. Your mom died, and you're gonna become the queen. So you need to get yourself ready. Uh. Normally, I would go through that, but you know, I think we want to get into it, right? We want to get into it. So, I've already played this and I have not beaten it. And, um, a little more information about the game. Uh, so, you got your skills here, and these are the different attributes that you can learn. Uh, and they are in four groups. You got social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Mystical, you can't really learn much in mystical until you uh, get your crystal thing. And this actually is new, I believe. I think uh, the developer just added this like a few months ago. Uh, certain moods affect your uh, ability to learn certain skills and as you hear since you're depressed you're not really in the mood for talking so you get a negative score for that um, but you get positives for things like animal handling because I guess you like to hang out with the animals when you're all emo and shit so you tell them what you, it's easy here to tell you your bonuses and penalties so here's your mood um, it, I, you can adjust it by uh, doing activities that you get to do every day and we just kind of start off as being depressed because well your mom died and you know that's sad and you're gonna be sad you're really sad but if you get something um, this is how it works it's it's a bit weird but let's say you got your willful up to here then it would go it goes from left to right so depressed has higher priority so if your willful was here you'd still be depressed but if like you're if you're afraid was here you'd be afraid and not depressed and that's just how that works out outfits we don't really have any outfits but the outfits give you bonuses to your skills but not it just gives you bonuses to your skills throughout the story classes now this is where we're going to choose what we're going to pick and I, I'm gonna have like a, I, I don't really rem I remember what happens, but I don't remember the order. So we're going to have a focus here. Uh, in order to get, I guess, a longer playthrough, you would have to put some points, I think, into intellectual, um, but more into social in the beginning. But since these aren't working out. Um, this is going to be difficult. So, I think, I don't know, we're just going to make her just a girly princess. So right now she likes to, I don't know, she's going to, she's going to hang out with the horses and she is going to, she's going to learn some dancing. 
Uh, so you walk around the stables meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and the names for different parts of their anatomy. Okay, that's the horse's hoof, that's the horse's tail, things like that. Not going any further. <laughs> you practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. What's all that noise outside? Who's here? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. <laughs> Darling, we were so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Fidelia, what the fuck? Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lottie. Hi, Lottie. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mommy said we'd be here all month. Goody. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. So here's where you can kind of do your activities, which affect your mood, which you can see here if you wanted to know. Um, I want to stop being depressed, so you can either be cheerful. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna just attend some services here. She's still depressed though. So, so you've got our skills kind of going up. She's now afraid, S says you can see, um, these are both the same, but goes in priority from what's from left to right, so afraid is first, so she's going to be afraid before she's depressed, and that's just how it goes. So, I think, well, we had bonuses to agility and faith. I don't really want to learn. Oh, I don't know. I'm making her a girly girl, right? So we're gonna go more dances, and I don't know. She's just gonna learn dancing. Whatever. You practice walking on the arm of a partner, walking on the arm of a partner, and following their cues to pause and turn while keeping your eyes closed. You begin practicing dance steps and time to music, quick and slow, turning and weaving. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? I've come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. Ooh. What? I am a lumen, as was she, and like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for two hundred years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. So, you do get some choices. Um, I'm just gonna let her stay, because she doesn't know any better. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays. As you wish. <laughs> so, let's talk to Juliana and see what she wants. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. What crystal? The source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. Once you've bonded with it, it becomes a part of you as long as you live. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do I have a crystal? Of course. Like, duh, I just told you everybody has a crystal. Like, pay attention. Look, look it's this crappy looking thing. <laughs> it flickers and it's like right here. Don't look at my boob. It's above my boob. And it sparkles and stuff. And like an idiot, you try to touch it, and it just like, you break it. <laughs> no, you don't break it, but... Oh. It belongs to me, noob. No one can take it from me until I die. Till you pray it, pry it from my cold, dead hands. But you need to find the crystal that belongs to you. So she's still, that looks like she's afraid. The beginning is a little slow. I think we've learned enough dancing. Um, let's learn some uh, court manners, maybe. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, let's just learn some court manners, I think. So it's in conversation. Proper etiquette for all situations. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. As a person of the highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission, and no one must ever turn their back to you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. Sure. He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> not really, I just like playing with the flowers. And all of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursula rushes into the garden and points a sword at you. What the fuck? No, not at you, at your feet? Princess, don't move. Um, I'm gonna be an idiot and look down. You look down where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. <laughs> Lottie! Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What's going on out here? Your daughter's been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get a herbalist right away. I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. I'm sorry. I don't feel good. <laughs> no, you just got bit by a poisonous snake. You're probably dying. We will be returning home to Murva immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should have never have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. That means no. It means no. Probably not. Oh my god. Let's not be ang uh, afraid. So... Uh, to get rid of being afraid... Let's go here. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants. Yeah, you went to the dungeons. I don't know why. You just... Like... Wanted to see what people are like down there. Uh, still afraid, so I think I think I'm gonna continue with the court manners for now. You study rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette, how to politely accept or defer an offer, and how to avoid the impression of attachment to an individual. Okay, I think that's what I wanted up to that point, so. The castle seems quieter without Charlotte and Emery. Who the fuck is Emery and Zara? And their parents got- I guess those are my other cousins that I guess I don't- I didn't give a fuck about. <laughs> It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother said she's okay, so I guess it turned out alright. <laughs> Maybe she's a guardian angel. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm gonna go again to visit the dungeons. So hopefully, yes, that makes me willful, which gives me bonuses to Intrigue, Military, and Lumen, which is what I want, I think. I need, I need this Intrigue. So we're gonna learn some, cause, I don't know, I said in girly girl, but I would like her to know some shit, so I'm gonna give her some internal affairs and foreign intelligence. I mean, she needs to know some things about what's going on in her country. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talas... Talasi? Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. The one who got bitten by the snake, who's probably dead. 
one of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. That, that guy, the 26-year-old. Ooh, look okay. at Success. Sedna, that's in Tal Talisi, the domain to our southeast. Yeah, I guess you just read it. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of Deep Grant, Best Riches. Oh, what a beautiful necklace! It might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public, though. People would think it's meant something. So I guess let's not wear it. It's important to maintain the proper image. Yes. Hmm. So, um, let's talk to Juliana. How do I find my Lumen Crystal? Your father probably knows what happened to it. What if he destroyed it? They can't be destroyed. Like, duh. He could throw it away, but then someone else might find it, so... No, he'll keep it safe. But if it's mine, it wouldn't matter if someone else found it. Yes, it's attuned to you, but you haven't bonded with it yet. If it found a compatible host, someone who was like you in some way, it could bond to them. Hmm. Now she's all fucking depressed again. Ah, <sighs> depressed again. No, that's not good. But I'm going to continue with intrigue, I think. Even though she's depressed. So the domain of Shangjia across the sea to the west has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the na navigable <laughs> rivers. <laughs> Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother for a title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. That sounds weird. Your mother created her brother? I, I guess I guess it means gave him the title of Duke of Merva. It just was kind of sounded weird. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. <laughs> Looks like she's busy! <laughs> you turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant? A thief? Or an assassin? Uh, yeah, let's just go look. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you look around for something to climb, but you know, you don't know how to climb because you never learned it, and so you're not sure if the nearby trees can support your lake, your weight, and you run over to a statue and try to pull yourself up onto the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet in place. And then you fall down and break your arm. <laughs> but by this time, whoever you saw is probably gone anyway. Yeah, so. Uh, she is still depressed. Let's get out of this depress depression. Okay, now she's afraid. No, that's not going to work. Okay, since, because we're getting a penalty to intrigue, let's go into history. We're going to learn some history. So we're going to learn some Novan history. You got to know your history. And then we're going to learn some foreign affairs. But we're not going to do that right this moment because I think this is a good spot to end this video. And I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks for, you know, watching with me and hopefully uh, y'all come back and watch more later. So, bye!